This is how one play completely disrespects the game of hockey. The other night, the Toronto Maple Leafs faced off against the Ottawa Senators for a big hockey night in Canada matchup. The hype for this game wasn't at its all-time peak since Toronto is in a playoff spot and Ottawa, well let's just say they aren't exactly meeting expectations this season. Regardless of the standings though, whenever these two teams do meet, there's always a lot of energy, passion, and emotion throughout the game, which can lead to some of these unfortunate moments that we're about to talk about today. Now I'm sure you've all seen this play by now. Toronto is down 4-3 late in the third period in a game where this team should have won. The net's empty and Ottawa recovers the puck, sending Ridley Grieg down the ice where he decides to slap shot the puck into the empty net to finish off the Leafs. Now before we talk about what happens next play, this slap shot was completely unnecessary and disrespectful to the game of hockey. Once a player is behind all the defensemen and has a clear lane to the net, just drop it in and be respectful. Don't be chauvinistic, don't try to play to the crowd or get yourself all hyped up. The slap shot was completely unnecessary. Hockey is a game built on respect, which means that there are a few unwritten rules that every player should follow if they want to ensure there's still integrity in this game. And unfortunately, this play just went against everything that most people stand for. Now clearly all this slap shot was was a statement by the Senators team. It's been a tough season for them. They are out of the playoffs in a year that they should be much better than they are right now, so a win like this against their biggest rival must feel pretty good. But no matter how much frustration or emotion is pent up, you need to stay respectful to your opponent, which leads to what happens next. Immediately following the slap shot into the empty net, Leafs defenseman Morgan Riley flies towards his opponent and cross checks him in the face. This isn't some like give him a shove in the face lightly and then drop the glove situation. No, no, no. This is Riley going for this guy's head and trying to bury this kid. Now, the response from fans here about this entire cross check has been a bit mixed. Some do agree that this was an out of line play and that Riley should be punished for this, while others, mainly Leafs fans, think that this was an appropriate response. My stance on this is a little bit mixed. I think that Riley should be suspended for the hit and I think it was really dirty. But I'm not mad at the response, I think it was necessary. At the moment, the Leafs are currently in a wild card spot with a lot of other teams competing for that postseason spot. No matter what way you look at this, the Leafs are underperforming based on where everyone had them in the offseason and preseason and this is a disappointment and frustrating time for their fan base. In the media and by their fans, the Leafs have been called soft all season long and there is too much talent on this team for them to struggle this bad and potentially miss the postseason. That would just be a disaster situation. This game in particular should not be a loss for the Leafs. They need to win against these bad teams in their division in order to stay ahead in the standings. This Riley hit is less about the slap shot into the empty net and more about the state of the Maple Leafs and the pent up frustrations that are on this roster. A guy like Riley clearly wants his team to be a lot better and when you're losing to the worst team in your division 5-3 to three on a hockey night in Canada day, it's just not exactly ideal for you and the playoff aspirations you might have for your club. Remember, I'm completely unbiased here. I'm not a Leaf or Senators fan, so I'm just kind of talking about it as a third party here. Also, let me know what you guys think about the empty net slap shot. Do you think that that was just a lot of showboating and really wasn't a big deal, or is it really just as bad as the cross check that followed the play? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like this video, subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys in the next one.